everybody, welcome back to Northern Line, please, the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Let's do this. I don't know, that was way too high energy. I'm already out of breath, can't come back from that. Oh, good. Well, APVN, Giggy, G1GE, White Pony, oh, let's just not end the run right off the bat, please. White Pony is pretty amazing. As a starting item, we can cherry it out of here. That's why I came in here in the first place. Then we can hold Crack Die, but I really want a Spirit Heart if possible. Um, this run is another horrible start from an HP standpoint. But if our HP gets handled, we're sitting pretty. Like, we're, we're sailing pretty. <laughs> what is it? We're clear sailing? That's it. What is it you say? Uh, you say live and let die? Oh no, I'm on the Paul McCartney thing already. Yeah, you know I'm on that Paul McCartney thing. Bean shows up again. Uh, we have no desire for it. Hey, let's not be an idiot. And what I mean by that is let's go back and pick up the bean so it doesn't show up again. That's like... Bad habit to fall into. It's especially a bad habit because sometimes it works out for you, you know? It's like... It's like smoking. And I'm not getting on like an anti-smoking soapbox or anything like that. I think at this point it's common knowledge that smoking cigarettes is, uh, is not good for you. Is it, is it worse for you than, you know, copious amounts of drinking or, you know, driving a car or, I don't know, working at a nuclear power? Look, it doesn't matter, okay? The whole point is that's, that's tangential here. I'm not trying to, if, you, if you're an adult, you can do whatever you want to your body. As long as it doesn't hurt anybody else, that's fine by me. I mean, it's important to not be an asshole. That's like the principal thing that so many people forget. Uh, let's get our battery charge, head down to the next floor. Um, happy to have Cuba meet here. But smoking is a bad habit that can sometimes get reinforced because sometimes smoking looks cool, man. And that's got to bum you out when you're like a non-smoker, which I am. If you see a dude who's smoking getting laid by another hot-ass smoker, you're like, Damn it! You're not supposed to be rewarded for this. You're supposed to be punished. That's no, you don't, you're not supposed to get a, a benefit out of it. We got Guppy's Paw there, by the way. And instead, you know, those of us who are non-smokers are, you know, left to... Take a little bit of self-righteous satisfaction. Like, yeah, well, I mean, we may still both get cancer, but he'll he'll have the greater odds of getting it earlier. So fuck him. Anyway, that's what I'm getting at. Like, sometimes on a daily, you'll get uh, you'll get lucky, and by not picking up an item, it will change things for you. Like on the April Fool's daily, by not picking up um, Anarchist Cookbook. I basically was destined to do better than Mathis because the, the way that daily worked is when you none of the items actually matched the items you picked up. So it would look like Anarchist Cookbook, then you'd pick it up and it would be like, oh, that's not Anarchist Cookbook at all. That's, you know, my fuck myself item. Um, so by not picking up Anarchist Cookbook, I got to keep uh, Wooden Nickel a little longer, which actually led to me having a much better chance of success than Mathis did. And uh, I beat his ass raw, which was sweet. And that's what I mean when I say that it's a bad habit that sometimes gets uh, rewarded. But we, especially on a non-daily, we, we're, we're never going to know what we otherwise wouldn't have gotten or would have gotten. So, at least until people post it in the comments, if, if this run becomes noteworthy for whatever reason that as of present is uh, unforeseeable, uh, then, then we will. That was pretty lucky. Dice Shard becomes valuable here, I think, but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Because a Thame is okay. And we don't need the ability to fly. So we might actually reroll both, even though both are pretty good. And actually in doing so, we got an HP upgrade. And then I can take Guppy's tail. And I think I'll just head down. Eh, we should look for our regular secret room. We might be able to buy something from our shop. Uh, that's going to be a, a moment of... Uh, I don't want to say a moment of contention, but that is going to be something where people are like, whoa, I don't know if I would have done that. I probably, most people I think would have gone with just a Thame, or they would have taken, um, well now I can't go to my shop, unfortunately. Ooh, we got an HP upgrade. Or they would have taken, um, Spirit of the Night and been like, okay, now we can go Guppy's Paw or something, I guess, in the future. Uh, or most people would have dice sharded Guppy's Paw, which, if I'm being honest with you, is probably a much more sensible decision now that I think about it. I don't know why that didn't cross my mind earlier. Uh, yeah, Flat Penny is pretty sweet. We should be able to blow up the Fortune Teller and then get a penny and maybe make it into our shop. Blow up the Donation Machine, get enough keys to last us the rest of the run, and then buy something? I don't know. It's a little, 
It's a little wonky. It's a great trinket, though. Okay, we just got a key out of it, and well, and a bomb. Uh, but we'll come back here. And... Inside of our shop, we have uh, nothing I really want. So you know what? Let's leave. Yeah, we don't need to buy a key. Because we're going to get so many keys, probably anyway, as a result of Flat Penny. It's a, it's a good run. It's a great run, actually. We're only one item away from becoming Guppy, which would really cement that we probably were in the right to not take Spirit of the Night, considering we'll get the ability to fly from Guppy anyway. But we have to actually become Guppy in order to take you know advantage of that. Lots of times you get two Guppy items early, and the third one just never shows up. Uh, I think I'll take both. Yeah, Rotten Baby's great. Demon Baby's mm, pretty good. I could have choked on my own words there when I tried to say it was great, but it is pretty good. Uh, Rotten Baby is, is worth the cost of doing business. Full stop, though. Yeah, we gotta get these keys, dog. That could be a guppy's head in there. It is not a guppy's head, but it is a staggering amount of money, which means a decent amount of keys. And uh, also a golden heart, which is going to give us even more keys when it pops. Which is hopefully not for quite some time, because I actually could use our HP here. Alright. 5 minutes and 22 seconds. This run is going real good, okay? If you want to continue to give me a uh, golden chest that I then open and get like 9 keys and 9 cents out of. That's pretty good in my books. Throw some bombs down. Another golden chest. Thank you, Guppy's Tail. And, you know, every time we open a golden chest, we got a real good chance to get, at the very least, our key back. Another health upgrade. Again, could be a health downgrade. One of the ones that we had has to be a health downgrade, because we've had two health upgrades now, but... This is awesome. You are super fucked. What, no key? What did I even show up for, then? Trying not to use uh, White Pony's active effect until our boss fight, which is a little bit uh, un -min max y It's not in the spirit of the min-max, but... Uh, actually, I will use it here, because I hate these enemies, but... Um, if we have it ready for the boss fight, it's usually going to kill the boss in one hit. I hesitate when I say that, because it might not actually hit it. And it might take two hits, or if the boss moves in the middle of one hit, it might not work perfectly, but... You know, you get the... You get the gist of it, for sure. I mean, you've seen it in action. It works. Let's see if we can get something good from our item room. I actually feel like Undefined is a huge disappointment now. Peeper's Eye, not that good. Uh, Blood Rites we will pick up, put back down. Could be good, but not what I'm looking for. Dr. Fetus. You know what? Let's do it. Do Dr. Fetus Shielded Tears actually explode when they touch an enemy? That's like a... That's a Final Jeopardy question. For Isaac players. Looks like not. So I'm assuming the same is probably true when they touch a bullet. This is really good then. Um, yeah, really, really good actually. Don't we have a golden chest in... No? Okay. Is it our curse room? We had a golden chest. That is doubly tempting. Even though it's probably a statistical um, falsehood, the possibility of finding Guppy's head seems higher in our curse room even if it comes from a golden chest. Again, I'm pretty sure that's absolute bullshit. Which is the new flavor of vodka from said corporation. They're not advertising very well, in my opinion. For reasons unbeknownst. Well, to be honest with you, it's hard to get excited about picking up bombs at this point because, uh... They are unnecessary. Given the circumstances at hand. Uh, if you would just kindly reach back and fuck yourself to death, that would be awesome, because I can't be arsed. Starter deck is pretty sweet. Starter deck has given us death. We can also hold the chariot card. Now we can hold two trinkets. And uh, to be real with you, we should probably donate some money pretty soon, because we have, or we're starting to not have any use for it. We're way ahead of the curve time-wise as well, and it's really only gonna get better. Uh, this is Caves 1. Well, it's probably only gonna get better. I guess you can't say that with certainty. Try to hedge my bets a little bit. Let's come up, check our curse room. Might as well. Well worth it, dude. All this free HP is stupidly great. I, d I decided to protect my uh, golden heart there just on the off chance that walking through the spikes took the whole thing. I don't. It's not going to take our whole spirit heart, but it might for whatever reason take all of the golden heart portion of it. I don't know. I don't want to have to go back into the curse room to get the HP and, and double my damage. Double the damage I'm taking, that is, so... 
Uh, fine by me. Also, I just realized I don't think we use the pony's active effects in order to deal with that room, which makes me a big fat fucking phony. But we used it there to good effect anyway. Excuse me? There's still an enemy remaining? Enemies everywhere? You have to feel at this point that we can't avoid Guppy. We haven't had Guppy's head yet, and it's a golden chest item, and we have Guppy's tail, and we're never going to run out of keys. Like, the, the keys are just coming fast and furious here, so... Um, we're pretty much always going to be in an okay position uh, to, to open a golden chest, and we seem to be getting a ton of them. So I think our odds of getting Guppy's head are really, really good. If they want to, you know, make me pay for a Guppy item on a deal with the devil, I would happily pay for, you know, expedited delivery. I'll pay for one day shipping. I'll get deal with the devil prime. It doesn't matter to me. In fact, I think it's better this way. That hurt, though. Uh, pacifier's okay, though. Lower tier delay. Little HP in the process as well. We found the boss so early, I kind of figured there had to be, like, a little bit of a weird layout here. It looks like it kind of bends back in on itself. I'm gonna blow you up out of laziness and laziness alone. And hope that maybe there's a sh shitty room. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely was not going to say shop and then be proven incorrect, so... you Don't you worry your pretty little head about that. Flattery will get you everywhere. Might as well look for a black market quickly, blow up the mushrooms. You know, one magic mush. It could show up anywhere. Pretty valuable. I uh, didn't intentionally hit myself there, just bad damage. Come on. Our HP is still not quite, like, at the level where I would need it to be to just be on cruise control, but... We're not too far away. Look, this run, this is one of the runs in which you can be mad at me for my luck. We're not, you know, doing so much damage that it's unprecedented to have the, you know, to have a run of this quality. But the number of eternal hearts that we've gotten, health upgrade pills, golden poops, you know, that is a little ridiculous. Considering our HP started so low and, and we're a little lucky to be, or to have lived past the first couple of floors, like, we're, we're also kind of winning the lottery of, of luck on every single room as well. So we got Telepathy for Dummies. Honestly, we can play a Key Beggar, and he's gonna give us a lot of, uh, a lot of chests, most of which will probably be golden as a result of, uh, no, never mind. He's gonna give us Blue Baby's only friend, which I believe counts towards Beelzebub, so no, no hard feelings about that one. Just terrible dodging. Please. Uh, yeah, BFF is great. Hierophant is great. I think I will donate as much money as they'll let me, and then we'll, I guess, move to our item room, which has to be down there. Find our secret room along the way, and then, uh, to be honest with you, we're pretty much rolling here. I don't think I'm gonna fight Hush on this one, either. I'm kinda saving my Hush, uh, my Hush desire for dailies. And I'll probably only play this guy until he gets up to roughly... 600, uh, okay, thanks, I guess I shouldn't have said anything, uh, made him think that he wasn't wanted. I'm a terrible mother. Actually, I'm a bitch, I'm a lover. I'm Mel Gibson, I'm Danny Glover, I am Murta, I am Riggs, I'm Joe Pesci, and other characters from the Lethal Weapon franchise. Okay, if you've already got Dr. Fetus, um, why not take Epic Fetus? We've already compromised our ideals. Might as well. We got Hermit, we got Moon, we got Justice. This is like a great combination because we can use our Moon card to get out. We got Bomb Bag. I'm Chris Rock, I'm Jet Li, I'm nothing in between, oh yes, that was a reference to Lethal Weapon 4. How's Lethal Weapon doing these days? Was that a reference that's still hip with the kids? Lethal Weapon, the hottest movie of 1985? Did Lethal Weapon, I gotta check. Brain, did you serve me well today? Lethal Weapon. 1987, way to go, you fucking idiot. This fucking jerk-off thinks that Lethal Weapon came out in 1985. It was clearly one of 1987's hottest bangers. Resurrecting the careers of Mel Gibson and or Daniel, one, one Daniel Glover. He was great in The Martian, by the way. He has aged so well! That's a joke because, uh, 
That's that's Donald Glover. It wasn't a joke, you know, based on race or anything like that. I don't want to get myself in hot water. It's just, you know, if you swap the careers of Danny Glover and Don Glover, life would be good. I would love to see. Oh yes, Unicorn Stump. I would love to see Donald Glover as Murtog. And I would love to see Danny Glover as a 18-year-old former high school quarterback in the television show community. Also, has anyone done this before? Just imagine that I'm so Sophie B. Hawkins. Don! I wish I was your Glover. It sort of works. It's more of like an N64 reference or something. Um, this this run is ridiculous now. God, my neighbors must think that I am actually like mentally ill. The stuff that they have company over, like, man, the shit that comes out of that other apartment, you wouldn't believe. He's talking about Danny Glover, Don Glover. I think he's a closet racist. <laughs> he also does not know what year Lethal Weapon came out. Who doesn't know that? It's very common knowledge. Michael Caine seems to come over sometimes. He's as bad as the rest of them. Oh, I think I own my name. If you say my name three times, I'll get summoned with a decanter of brandy and a fine cigar. Master Wayne. That became Sean Connery at the end. That's okay. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to be in this room. Ah! Why not use Unicorn Stump? <sighs> okay, we've been in a one-item room. Can't get over there. We're obviously gonna, you know, finagle our way out of boss rush. This run now, due to the sheer amount of invincibility we have, should be pretty much unlosable. But uh, I've lost the unlosable run before, even with fetus items. Although I, I don't know how long it's been since I lost a run with epic fetus. Probably longer than uh, than Doctor Fetus, considering that was only like three runs ago. Oh no! Wait. No, that was Doctor's Remote. We lost the run with, which is another Doctor item. If you get Dr. Fetus and Doctor's Remote and then PhD, you should get the Doctor Transformation. Well, what would that give you, Northern Lion? <laughs> About $450,000 in student debt. <laughs> uh, but then, you know, like a stable career that is like really, really in demand, the respect of your peers, which is something I would know nothing about. Um, sad personal satisfaction that comes from knowing that you know hard work and perseverance does provide a benefit in today's society and you know all those times you said you know fuck you to instant gratification in order to put in the hard work necessary to reach the top of a really illustrious career in academic program uh, was not to waste you know and that's that's beyond or that's that's before talking about the satisfaction that you get from uh, you know just you know saving a life or at least making someone's existence more comfortable depending on the area of medicine that you've chosen to specialize in but mostly the student the the, the crippling student debt uh, that forces you to leave uh, Canada where you got a free education and move to the United States where you can make a, an easy uh, mid six figures income and it's not it's not national betrayal or anything it's not it's not national betrayal the brain drain is not contributing to eight hour wait times at our emergency rooms <laughs> okay uh, Bob's right now. We might as well pick it up for the boob transformation. Haha, <laughs> boob. Mm -hmm. oh. Watch those sub numbers tick up. Here we go. Alright. The time has come. How can I be bitter on a run like this? It's going real well so far. Bloat totally thinks he's got us. But what he doesn't know is that he hasn't got shit. We will actually be really excited to take a speed upgrade. Uh, because a speed upgrade combined with Unicorn Stump gives us a much better ability to actually kill things. And actually, uh, I don't know why I'm saying actually so much, but uh, Blue Baby's Only Friend is a really nice addition to this run as well. Because when I'm using Unicorn Stump, I can't use Epic Fetus. We should definitely take Succubus. We should definitely take Judas' Shadow. We should down. I wish I was your Glover. This is a weird one. If we were to kill ourselves, what gives us the most benefit? I mean, killing ourselves and then getting lard gives us the most benefit. And then teleporting out. This is fucking stupid, but I think it's gonna work. This is fucking stupid. No, this is, this is not stupid. This is genius. 
So we're gonna do the rare, get yourself into boss rush, don't kill yourself, or don't, don't pick up a boss rush item. Don't, you're not supposed to kill yourself on this, you're supposed to kill yourself on the, oh, it doesn't really matter, actually. And then don't die to pick up this. Yeah, unicorn stump, I mean, we wouldn't have died anyway, but we would have been hit, for sure. And you know what? Do we actually want to fight for our right to party here? I think we may. Why did Unicorn Stump last so long? That's just beautiful. Yeah, okay, so we died, became Dark Judas. And now we're going to kick the shit out of all these enemies and get another item. feel like if I can actually start to plan so I'm using like one epic fetus charge before I... Uh before I transform, or before I get invincibility, that's a that's a good thing. Like this is working really well here. We have the ideal run. I I, I can't blow smoke up your ass. How how could I? Have you seen the run that we have at our disposal at the clear and present danger moment? Excuse me, sir. Uh, who would have thought Little Horn would be the enemy that fucked me today? It certainly would not have been me. I will tell you that much. We should have Blue Baby's friend in on the action here. Did I actually just take a hit? This is my impression of, uh... The guy with no short-term memory from 50 first dates at a party. Uh, did I just take a hit? Hilarious. My reaction when shit is lit and I can't remember if I took a hit, fam. Ah, oh, kids these days, am I right? Watch those sub numbers go up. All right, who we got? 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 All right. Tip your waitress. Why am I doing boss rush? I got places to be, people to meet. Gonna miss my kids' soccer practice. Leading my estranged uh, wife to uh, go meet another man who's a little bit more reliable. In the meantime, at my child's birthday party... He's going to wish that his father was unable to tell lies. Little known to him, and every child's 11th birthday, their wish comes true. This causes me quite the hijinks and spectacle at my job as a sleazy defense attorney. Northern Lion, I can't help but notice a lot of similarities between the personal life that you posit to exist uh, and the 1999 film... Wait, that's a 97 banger. The 1997 banger... Liar Liar, starring one James Carey. You were right. This is the plot to Liar Liar. It was based on my life. Painkillers only put me in the twilight. Pretty Pussy and Benjamin's was the highlight. I tell my mama I love her, but this is what I like, Lord knows. Down to the next floor. Curse of Dankness. Might look like our HP is pretty bad, and it's it's actually not. It's horrible. It's much worse than you seem to think. We're in a very existential, kind of like terrifying place. Existentially terrifying place. That being said, uh, we have invincibility that just don't know when to quit. Oh, I can't fly. So this is Blue Baby's only friend. Still, I mean, being able to have uh, invincibility on every single room is so valuable here. Gotta check the rune. Is an Awaz. Don't care. Hermit. Sort of care. Perthro. Care a lot. Hermit? Nah, we go strength. And then we hope that maybe this gives us a hero font. Emperor. Oh, dude, Emperor Perthro? Hell yeah. Sounds like a Star Wars character. HP? Krampus? Not Krampus. <sighs> you know what? You know what? Perthro it. Ooh, that's not what I was looking for. Why Perthro the goat head? Great question. I, where were you 10 minutes ago? And by 10 minutes ago, I mean about 32 seconds ago. Uh, we're going to Emperor card here. Head into the It Lives fight. And uh, this is where Blue Baby's only friend can do a lot of great work for me. If it chooses to. Oh, right. I have Epic Fetus. Don't just worry about the way that your shots are actually going there. You may have something else to complain about. Okay, give me a deal with the devil. It did not. So... My, my master plan there was, who needs Goathead if we're just getting a deal with the devil there anyway? It didn't work out quite that way. It never went that far. Okay. No, this is, this is solid. This is solid as a rock right now. The principal thing we have to do is not get hit. And then we do so much damage that, you know, it's it's really good. It's a great situation. We're only opening red chests. And, you know, I still hold hope that we'll get that guppy dream. Well, 
was easy enough. Uh, this is beautiful. This is like how we win the round. Oh, never mind. It's a golden chest. Guppy's head. Guppy's head. Well, he gave us a spirit heart regardless because he's a champion and just a hell of a nice guy all around. But uh, we didn't get what we wanted out of the out of the tinted rock. And you know what? That's just that's just what happens in life sometimes. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. No desire to use uh, the chest. No desire to pick up any consumables at this point. Um, it's not a general malaise of, of existence or anything like that. We actually are just, you know, we have such a bounty of, of beauty right now. And, and also on-brand paper towels. That uh, we've got uh, no desire to really start, you know, hoarding these. It, golden chests, of course, are going to get opened. And we did find our Isaac fight. What do you think about this Isaac fight? You think we're going to be able to get him in one unicorn stump? I think it may be plausible. Okay, not quite plausible, but but not too far off. 23 minutes. Head down here. It's still like... Like I said, it's, it's not quite automatic, and that's exclusively because of our HP, but... Not knowing what our HP looks like certainly makes that a lot better. Uh, Odd Mushroom is good. Onk is, I mean, probably means that we can't lose, if I'm being honest. If I'm being Onkist, that doesn't, that sounds like a bad thing. Yo, have you heard NL is a real Onkist? Onk, Onk, he hates geese. That's not true. There's some geese that live near our, this is the most Canadian thing I could possibly say. Especially given that I used a very Canadian O sound in the, in the middle, but, um, there are some geese that live near our apartment building. Do I go out and feed them bread? No, they're wild animals. I don't want them to, to attack me, but, uh... Yo, geese can be nasty sometimes, man. Geese can be real freaky. Don't tell your mom. Well, mama don't know won't hurt her, but... Um, and you know what? They're very nice. Sometimes I watch them uh, shake their tail feathers. They go find a puddle or something, dip their little tail in it, shake their butt. It's real cute. Not in a sexual way. Oh, well, NL called a bird cute. Yo, I'm secure enough in my masculinity to call a bird cute, okay? Call a cat cute, I can call a bird cute. Right, Ruka? You're a little cutie, right? He's asleep. It's cute. Cute as a button. Cute as a geese's butthole. A goose's butthole. Just give me an Emperor card. Let's be honest, game. This is like, we're all just dealing with formalities here. You are dead, and I have shit on you as a result of the items you've given me. Why don't you just, you know, make this easy on both of us and, you know, take another little piece of my heart now, baby. I'll fucking take it. Take another little piece of my heart. I know you will. I still, like I said, after glove songs, I'm moving on to fart songs. And the men who hold high places must be the one to start to mold a new reality closer to the farts, closer to the fart, yeah! That's, I mean, that's pretty, you could almost do one like just of Rush. And I, you know, honestly, I think I would. Too bad Rush doesn't rhyme with like Bush. This room is going to take me longer than I'm happy to admit, to be honest with you. Is this really just, like, BFF? Because my orbitals, they... I, you know what? I think it's because we got, like... We got smaller somehow. Which is making all of my familiars look fucking huge. And that's awesome. I love it! There's a golden chest back there. We gotta open it just to see what it is, but... There's almost no conceivable way it provides us with a, a benefit that we do not already control ourselves. What do you got for me? It's okay. I don't think it does anything maybe for us with uh, Epic Fetus, but, you know, it's not it's not a bad pickup. Look at this fucking amateur hour here. Didn't even have Blue Baby's only friend over top of him. Alright, thanks for watching. That was a quick one. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.